Hi everyone, here's another one of my watches in my collection. I'm going towards the more affordable and great bang for the buck uh, side this time. This is the Glycine Combat Sub, 42 millimeter in bronze. Um, this is one of those watches that can be found at various online detail retailers for uh, you know really good prices. I think I picked this up for around 350-ish US dollars. Uh, it's a really fun watch. Um, 200 meter water resistance, proper dive watch, um, properly legible um, dial. Uh, it's a nice, actually the dial itself is really nice. It's a very gentle fade um, from a lighter green to a darker green on the bottom. The bezel itself also has a little bit of a green um, tint to the inlay. Um, not immediately obvious, um, probably on, on this, this camera, but um, in real life in the right sunlight, you can really see the difference. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this watch, besides the fact that it is an extremely affordable bronze diver, is the fact that it is very, very thin. Um, this is a 10.5 millimeter thick watch, which I think is outstanding for a 200 meters um, in this day and age of uh, larger watches. Uh, I'm not against larger watches. I do have plenty of large watches in my collection, as you've probably seen. I have a fair share of... Um, Panerai, Breitling, whatever, but I don't like uh, large watches that are large for the sake of being large, and they have to have some reason. Panerai obviously has a reason because they were designed around pocket watch movements originally, so the cases are sized to accommodate that. And Breitling often offers superior water resistance um, for its its watches, although you probably never use it. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have and that does come with some bigger size. Also, the chronographs are often based on a 7750 um, movement, which tends to be a bit thick, but uh, incredibly reliable. So I'm not going to knock that. Um, this is based on an ETA 2824. Uh, very, very common movement. Uh, one of the, you know, the timeless workhorses of all uh, watch movements out there right now. Can't really go wrong with an ETA. Uh, accuracy is pretty good in this one. Last time I checked it out, it was running at about plus four seconds per day. I think that's more than reasonable uh, for a watch like this. There's, there's no um, no intention of being chronometer spec. Um, it does have a stainless steel case back uh, so that you don't have uh, corrosion problems with the, you know, the, you have two bronze pieces uh, together like a case and a case back. You, you could have a great difficulty removing the case back at some point in the future. So this usually steel or titanium on most watches that have uh, bronze cases. Um, I believe this is a bit available in a lot of other colors, um, you know, blue, brown, um, etc. It's also available in larger sizes. Uh, not really keen on those, but if you if you want one, then I don't, I don't see any issues with picking up a bigger one. Um, but I think the 42 millimeter size is, is a classic size, along with the 10.5 uh, millimeter thickness. I mean, it's really quite outstanding. Um, the strap is um, leather, 22 mil, uh, the kind of pseudo coating on it. I'm not really sure what the material is, but um, I don't think it really intends to be water resistant. But, you know, if you're going to go diving or something like that, I'd probably put this on a NATO anyways. Um, but anyways, um, like I said, this is uh, one of the more affordable uh, watches in my collection. That doesn't mean it's valued any less than the others. It does mean it probably, um, you know, will get wear in situations that the ones won't, um, which is nice to have that option. Uh, and it wears really, really nice and really comfortable with that, that nice, thick, thin um, case that sits very flat on the wrist. Um, so yeah, the Glycine Combat Sub in bronze, 42 millimeter. Um, great piece uh, if you want to look, looking for something like this, uh, you know, a sub, Mariner type watch with its own brand identity, its own style, um, high quality, and uh, great comfort. Really good piece. Glad to have it in my collection. Until next time, see you. Bye.